I was like, wow, this is like the dude who is dating my ex-girlfriend. Like, part of me was like, yeah, like, let's, let's like expose this and like make him look bad. Mm-hmm. We decided to, or I, I decided to like make it into a video. Mm-hmm. Like, I just hate talking about it and like bring it and like bringing it up. Um, <sighs> Like I'm filming like random things, yeah, and we're gonna, we're going on vacation, so I'm gonna film that, and then just like fight content, reacting to the fights and stuff like that. Yeah. What's going on with that? So you won. No one expected that here. How real was like, all the beef and stuff? You're a pussy. I'm saying it to your face now. You're a pussy. Cool. 100 percent real. That's so crazy because I thought it was like, I thought like wrestling, like you know how like they all fight and they all whatever. You guys yeah. make videos about each other. But it seemed very actually real. But some of the press conference stuff seemed a little like state. It was like showboaty, yeah. Hey, boo if Deji's a But the drama was very real. Like I, I, Deji was like saying stuff about Erica and like my parents and like, he was just taking it like really deep. I know when you were with Melissa, you weren't, you yeah, weren't, sat, you weren't satisfying her, bro. And I know back to this, I know oh. back to this. It was very real, like I wanted to, to kill him. <laughs> Um, I hope like he learned a lesson on talking shit. Yeah. Uh, well, all right. What's your day now? Like, what do you do now? I'd probably just like chill now. Maybe go get food. I want to make summer in the backyard. We should go to Walmart and get tents. <laughs> but wait, I want to go to Walmart with Jake Paul. Let's go. <laughs> hey, you guys all want to go to Walmart? Yeah. <laughs> but th- but that's what I'm saying. I've never done. I've never taken a break. So like, I don't know what to do. So I don't. So I'm. So we go to Walmart. <laughs> Let's fucking go to Walmart. Let's go. <laughs> it's summer September. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who's coming? <laughs> How do you want to do it? Shane, do you edit all your videos? Uh, yeah. Me and Andrew kind of split it up. The one with Jeffrey was crazy. I love that. that. Yeah, we're getting we're getting tents and a trampoline. Stuff to make a fire, volleyball court stuff, and a trampoline. And a soccer ball. And net. snacks. And a volleyball ball and a soccer ball. <laughs> Sorry, there's no Oreo flavors. Okay, I'll, I'll do it later. Did you eat Oreos? I don't know. Are they actually gonna buy a trampoline? Alright, fine, I'll get a thigh toner. <laughs> <laughs> this looks legit, yeah? That's a yurt. Wait, isn't that your thing? Yurt! I just might have made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, yeet. yeet. Oh. That one right there that sleeps eight, the one in your hand. Sweating a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are actually going to camp. Like, what's happening? So we're going to build a tent in our backyard and have like a slumber party. So much work. With like a fire and like marshmallows. All right, I'm in. <laughs> you want to do it? Do you think the battery is dead? Or no, I know the battery is not dead. That's the weird part. I think the battery is dead. There's something up with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it we could just jump it. We can come jump it. Okay, Hopefully well, a fan see. comes up and does <laughs> <laughs> it. Yo, you got jumper cables? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Did you take a picture with you? Yeah, Do you have jumper cables? 
No, we don't. Oh, oh, no, sorry. No, it's okay. Okay, no self pity. Yeah, no, 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 no <laughs> self pity. <either. laughs> Uh, we'll I get bet you Walmart, get if I Oh yeah, we can just buy it at Walmart. Wait. That would be awesome. Good. Yeah, no problem. Alright, thank you, sir. I'm gonna Walmart? Good morning, Jumper Kids. Um, what are your thoughts? He's so nice. He really genuinely cares about people. I think so too, right? We were talking about, you know, YouTube and how his ads are not good. Yeah. And a lot of people think he is Logan, associate him with Logan. You're with Logan? Oh yeah, Logan, Logan Paul. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So, that's interesting. I don't know. Where did the dad go? Yeah, I don't even think I got him on camera. The third floor. There's a floor above where, where Jake's room was, where we haven't been. Yeah, that's where his dad lives. Oh. His dad was there, but he didn't. See he was there for like a uh, split second. I don't even know if I got him on camera. Even? Like, listen, he's done a lot of crazy shit. Obviously, I'm not negating that. So far, like. Yeah. I don't feel weird, I don't feel unsafe. And just like he wasn't crazy with you in the car when you guys were like drove off on that crazy ATV. Yeah. I mean, he, he was like fun, but no, it was like No, he was, yeah, he was safe. So, I don't, I don't know. know. And they have a dog to take care of, and that's a sweet dog. And I like her. I like her a lot. Like, she's cool. She's super nice. And just like, he cares for her, and like yeah. the way he interacts, it's really sweet. So, yeah, I mean, like, I was even watching them when they kind of went off alone in Walmart. They didn't know there was anybody around. He was still, like, holding her hand and, like, touching her face. And, yeah. like, you know, I don't know. It just didn't feel, like, fake. Yeah, when she was like, I'm so hungry. Oh, my God, I'm so hungry. He's like, I told the guy I'll have food when we get home. Like, he's, like, calm, you know, just caring. Like, yeah. like a boyfriend should be. And, like, she wanted to make summer, like, happen tonight. So that's why they're getting all this stuff. Yeah. Like, they were going to do this not even for the video. Yeah, just in general. So, uh, it's kind of sweet. I think it's both very sweet. I've definitely been around YouTubers who yes. it's not like this. No, not it's at very all. uncomfortable the whole time, and you're always on edge. And yeah. I don't get that at all. I'm super comfortable. Yeah, like they're so welcoming and warm, whatever. But they definitely are way too active. It's way too. Active. <laughs> <laughs> and I need, I need also, my couch. I'm just too old. <laughs> okay, but. to school and she's like my dad helped my dad helped Jake Paul start his car oh, okay, and people so are like that. you're a fucking liar <laughs> Katie yeah, the other batteries dead there's more fans over there <laughs> <laughs> every fan likes their car yeah I'm a mechanic now yeah. <laughs> YouTube's you know YouTube's not paying well <laughs> sorry listen we're yeah, in this scenario there's an olive garden, garden. <laughs> There is. Yo, I'm so down to go to Olive Garden. Alright, ready? Remember my foot on the brake? Oh, yeah. Okay, foot's on the brake. Alright. Ready? Alright, see. See your go. Jesus. He's got it. Yeah! yeah. Yay! Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So much. You did this, Katie. <laughs> you did this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, So we're not going to Olive Garden now, are we? Thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Guys, we made it! Yay! Yeah. Y'all can't handle this. Y'all don't know what's going to happen. Maybe Team 10, Los Angeles, Cali Boy. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Five mil on YouTube in six months. Never done before. Pest all the competition, man. PewDiePie is next. Man, I'm popping all these checks. Got the brand new Rolex. And then Matt the Lambo. There's no death row, but I'm doing it for life for you. Get over here, get your mind right. Diamond ring, say my name, take my last one. Quavo, you should take a mask off, we should take a pants off. Which is something it just feels right when we're together. I think I wanna stay here with you for forever. Six figures, wait, six figures, wait. <laughs> six figures, <laughs> six figures, I was only four. Come on, get it to me. Six figures. <laughs> <laughs> six figures, I was only four. Six figures, I was only four.
was only four I don't even open my own door I, I, I was iced out when I was four Blew it all, then I got some more <laughs> Do you need to get a thumbnail in front of the house or oh, something? Right. Yeah. This guy <laughs> yeah. You think it's good? Yeah. I tried to look like a douche. Don't say he abused me and like all this shit. Like and all, it was all he said. She said. So we were just talking and stuff, and then the assault came up. Yeah. So basically, the girl, your assistant. Yeah. Megan. Megan. Yeah. So she said she was at a club, face banks, assaulted her, yeah. choked her or something, and then it turned into insulting because people thought you like planned it and it was fake and right. it was just like a fake assault. Face. Yeah. So I know what I think about that. What you did this time around is so fucked up. I'm beginning to believe that this is this isn't true. What happened? Wow. So. And my experience with that, Megan was at the club that night, like that was totally true. And when she left, she sent me these three voicemails, like freaking the fuck out. And I still have these voicemails, like to this day. This guy, like, strangled her, like, hurt her, and now she's at her building, and she's genuinely scared to sleep. And just, I, heard like, the, I heard these messages too. So this girl was my friend at the time. Just like anybody would, like, if that's your, if your friend is telling you something, like, you stick up for your friend. Why would she voice my us and come into work and be like, this is what happened? She had a giant bruise on her neck. Like, what reason did we have? Not to believe her. She actually like filed a police report and like people thought like we hired fake. cops yeah. to like act like. Wait, so she did file a police report? Yeah. yeah, that wasn't fake. Like all oh. that was completely real. Wait, so what actually happened? Yeah. Do you guys believe her? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I believe something happened for sure. Something definitely happened. We like don't know what, what happened? happened? Like I don't know if I can trust yeah. her really. But the reason why everyone thought that we like set it up is because Megan's friend came out. I don't know if you've seen this. Oh, I forgot about this. What up? Hey, did you put anything in uh, Banks' drink? What's up, man? He's saying that you did. Is it possible that Team 10 went there to set up Banks and get them wasted? I really, truly, in my heart, believe that these kids drugged me. Like, he came home and was like, yeah, like, he assaulted her. And then, like, as all of it, like, went crazy online, he got super scared and said, like, fuck you to us and, like, lied about the whole situation and, like, on a phone. I mean, you were there. Do you think it actually happened? I do not think that was a possibility. Yeah, and like yeah. on a phone interview. I have known this girl since I was like 13. This has been like seven plus years of friendship, which is what makes this so hard for me to do. I did not see you assault anybody that night. Just so that he could like clear, clear his name. Meg, do you feel betrayed by Max? Do you feel like he stabs you in the back by talking to Banks and being on his video? Where is she? Do you know anything about her now? But if you saw if you saw her every day, it was like the bruise still there for like a while. Yeah, yeah and like people was, thought people thought like she like was wearing makeup, makeup and shit. Yeah, no, there was definitely a bruise there. Some of you don't think that this is real. This is a makeup wipe. I'm just gonna use it. That's why we say something happened. Like we know something <laughs> happened, we just don't know. What do you guys think? We should have looked into it more before yeah. speaking on it. The main issue is you instantly made a video yeah. about it, used it as a thumbnail. That questions it, like, oh, he put it in the middle of a Yeah, it seems like know. thirsty. Meg was assaulted uh, by a man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but obviously we should have looked more into it, looking back now. Yeah, it's just a messy situation. But also, like, you know, not to get too much into the drama now, but if he was dating, or he's dating your ex. So I understand, because who knows how much shit there is with that. Right. I understand the instinct of like, I hate this guy, Some he hurt somebody I, you know, love. So like, fuck it, let's make the video, let's put it up, yeah, like, exactly. fuck this guy. So I understand. That's That was my mentality, which was immature, but I obviously did it. I did that, and then like the next day, Alyssa's like, makes a video on his channel like saying that like I assaulted her and shit like she said she didn't assault her. Yeah. He dragged me down the stairs. She also said that he assaulted me. And you've physically abused Erica Costell. Has Jake ever laid a finger on you? Never. And Erica, the fact that he has spit in your face and he's assaulted you too, and you can sit there and support him acting like this almighty, awesome person, you're weak and you're a piece of shit. <laughs> what did she say? She like made it up. She basically said that I like, threw it down the stairs and like 
like spit on her all the time and like all that shit. And that was like their rebuttal. They were like, oh, Jake said this about FaZe, like, we're gonna say that Jake threw Alyssa down the stairs. Because Jake, you're abusive. And you physically abused Alyssa. And I lost like 300,000 subscribers. Because of that. And then what ended up happening? Did he just go away? kinda just like... I mean, people still talk about it to this day. Yeah. Like, but it? their defense was, oh, let's, let's turn this on Jake. And like, of course, you know, like they just pull it out of thin air. Like people are mad at us. Like let's make something up about Jake, and like everyone believed it because. Why not? It just sucks, I guess. Yeah, I know. I mean, I have a lot of questions about her and that, but I guess I'll. Yo, we should fight for the next fight. <laughs> Here's the thing. Shane, just think about the views. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, just go fight PewDiePie. <laughs> bro, I'm down PewDiePie, bro. Do you know him? Have you ever met him? No, I haven't. Does he actually hate you? Or do you actually hate him? Who the fuck is Jake Paul? Or no. You guys just I think we like each other. Really? I could be wrong, though. I mean, I like him. I think he's funny. Is there any YouTuber that you actually don't like? Or, like, that's been mean to you? That's been mean to me? No, not like blatantly mean. There's definitely a vibe though. Like, I went to this YouTube Creator Summit thing and like, I literally just like sat by myself the whole time. Like no one was like, no one was like, hey man, like, like your videos or like anything like that, you know? I, and I knew like, I'm not, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm being, like, I feel like I'm complaining. It's okay. <laughs> no, I think, listen, like, I think it's okay because, like, people don't see that from you. You're yeah. kind of always, like, pretending like you're fine. So I think it's interesting. Because I, I do wonder that. Like, if yeah. you're so hated by kind of, like, a lot of YouTubers and people who have never met you and then you go to something like that. You would think, like, like, I'm one of the biggest YouTubers, right? So you would think, like, someone would come up and be like, hey, man, like, nice to meet you. Or, like, there was just, like, wasn't that... I don't know. I was kind of like the elephant in the room, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, as somebody who's been hated for a long time, you know, it's taken me years, years. People now are nice to me, but back then, mm -mm, same thing, in a different way. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's like very clicky. There's a lot of clicks in YouTube, I feel like. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> but not everybody has this. That's why I just stay here. With Thor. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is it okay if I talk to you all? Yeah. Is yeah. that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys should talk. I'm not trying to, like, you know, like, steal a girl or anything, bro. Uh -uh. Let's steal my girl. Really? I just knew. You can read people. So, what do you think about this whole thing? About me doing this, about me kind of investigating. Yeah, I think it's really good because nobody really knows Jake at all. I feel like I'm the only person actually who like knows like everything about him and nobody online ever gets to see that. There's a lot of things that I, like me and him have been talking about when the camera turns off. Yeah. I don't want to fuck up like any of his family relationships. I don't want to piss off anybody in his family. I don't want to cause a big controversy yeah. or a big fucking drama with the ex-girlfriends and all that stuff. Yeah. But I also feel like a lot of it... Is that stuff? Yeah. Um, he's at a point now where he's been fucked over so many times by friends, family, you know, you know some of the stuff off camera. Like, it's that's hard to, to let go of. Could you picture being around someone after something like that happened to you? Never, right? Like, never. So he, if he's able to you know, let out the window and like find things that make him happy. I think it should be exposed and talked about. Um, okay, let's turn the camera off for a second. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. We've been talking along for a while. Yeah. But my main thing that I wanted to tell you was from what I've seen today, but also just in a lot of research and from what mm -hmm. I've heard from Nick and like other people that I trust, you are kind of like the only 
that's, that's what I have to say. But uh oh. The, well, the only hope that Jake has of a normal life. Um, and it's really funny because you're not the first person that says anything like that, honestly. So that's really crazy that you can just like come in with a little bit of research and see that. The only reason he's taking a break right now yeah. is because of you. Like you told him, right? Yeah, we. so like he was training literally all summer for three months and Jake literally does not stop. Like he doesn't, which is great. Like you should work very hard, but he doesn't know how to like be normal. Like I'm like, that's the best way I can put it. He doesn't know how to wake up and like not be in charge or like feel like he has to do a million things. The fight was like a lot mentally and physically on him, but like I was, I also didn't do anything this summer because we were just training for the fight and I was just like helping him do that. So I was like, September is summer and you're not gonna vlog for at least two weeks, like no vlogging. Like we're gonna go do something, we're gonna leave, we're gonna go be normal and you're gonna have fun and it's gonna be great. And to my surprise, he was like, I think he's finally ready to like have that. It's so hard because like I don't know why I have this weird urge to like get involved in this, but I just do. <laughs> you're like a godfather. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, honestly, once again, I just met his dad. Yeah. And I'm not trying to throw his dad under the bus. I don't know any of it. Yeah. What I will say is working with family is bad. Trust me, we're not. <laughs> it's yeah. bad. It doesn't work. Even if you love the person and they love you, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. matter. Just I doesn't agree. Work. Working and being family are meant to be separate. Hi. You can you can go have fun with Jake. Hi. Go have fun with Jake. Hi. Use more shot. We'll see you, Mom. The dad. Great. Great, yeah. Is living here? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's been living here for a couple months now. I know that Greg means very well and he does help with a lot, but him mm. living here has put a lot of stress on Jake. Whether anyone's gonna come out and admit that or not, like I know that for a fact. Um, there's a, just like a certain energy, like I'm sure that you kind of have seen it. It's just the energy shifts when he walks in the room and like Jake kind of, you know, you saw, you kind of saw. It's just, it's not a good situation. And I think, I think everybody in the house knows that. I, I know everyone in the house knows that because everyone tells me everything. It's not a good, it's not good to have him living here with Jake. Great, like love him, he's, you know, whatever, but living in this house, not good for anybody. I think living in this house isn't good for you, Jake, or literally. Living in this big, Mansion. Mm -hmm. In my dream world, I see you and Jake yeah. in a normal sized house. Mm -hmm. It's so funny that you say that. <laughs> dog turning around yeah. and like an actual life. Mm -hmm. Just like this isn't a normal life. Yeah, no, it's not. It's like, a, it's like, yeah, because there's like, there's a chef, there's like so many people. There's, it's sort of like having your own camp, like the people. It's like everyone's here for a reason. And then there's Jake and I. And then when everybody goes home, there's still a dad. I mean, everyone, like, everyone that you see here lives here. Yeah. Everyone that you see here that you've been seeing like operate all day, they, they all live here. Gio, the assistant, lives here. Adon, the trainer, lives here. Chad, Anthony, um, everybody that you saw this morning, they all live here. He doesn't, he doesn't do well with being alone. So I feel like that's why all of his friends, you know, live here. He, no matter what, like even if they're not doing what they're supposed to be, he keeps them around because he appreciates people who he can trust to be around him all the time. I think it's time to like, he switch needs, it up. He needs to move out. Like this needs to, I think Team 10 and all this needs to kind of go away. I think it's the pressure of everybody relying on him like that. When when you wake up every morning and everyone's relying on you to live, like whether you realize it or not, that's a lot of energy being taken from you. And like, that's a lot of pressure it's, yeah, it's, on somebody. It's not good. And, and this is something I don't even know if I should say, fuck it. I also think he needs to like, he needs to be his own person for yeah. a while. Because right now it's like, the brother, the dad, the family, and I get, I get it. Like I agree, and, ja you know? and Jake and Logan are so fucking different. Like yeah. I can't even be begin to explain like the different qualities that they have. I think I agree. Where's well, guys? We're supposed to be opening gifts. Line up all four. No, you do it. Go for it. I've already done no, it. No, you do it. Nothing. That's the way to do it.
I really do because I think that Jake a lot of the time is pushed to the side a little bit, um, especially like they kind of are sharing management right now and it's very clear to me at least that like it's Logan and then Jake. And there's only so long before you start to feel like resentment because half the time it's Jake's ideas and like Jake's creative and it's like he doesn't even get the full credit for it. Yeah. So I agree. I agree with that like being his girlfriend. But that's something he's going to have to figure out. Do you think I should talk to him about it? I think that'd be great. Because I mean, worst case scenario, right? He just hates me, is mad at me, and says fuck never. you. And then I just say, I mean, all right, I tried. Mm-hmm. You know, best case scenario is he listens to me because for some reason we have a trust with each other. You do. You guys are like very similar in a weird way. Yeah. It's I like know, creepy. It's weird. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yo, we're literally the same person. Yeah, it's like really creepy. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> but the way I think he gets quiet in certain situations and like kind of shuts down and yeah. kind of like whatever is literally, I was, it was like looking in the mirror. Yeah. And I think he appreciates honest people and like you have no reason to come in here and like have done all this research on him. Like you, you're getting nothing by telling him the truth or not telling him the truth. Yeah. I need more people to be no people in his life. He doesn't have a lot of, he's all yes men here. Like mostly. I'm going to tell you something mm -hmm. and you promise not to tell Jake. So, Katie is not my producer. Um, she is... My licensed therapist? So, she's a therapist. Oh, so, okay. So, the series started with me sitting down with her. Okay. She was breaking down what a sociopath is and what's important. Right. And I was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to judge it, right, in person. Right. So, I was like, well, come and just, and just be with us and just watch. Yeah. Off camera, on camera, whatever, right? And very quickly, she realized, as I did, that like, he's not. And he's just like, no. And yeah, he has a bunch of shit that he's done, whatever. But like, at the core of it, now it's almost like a thing where I'm happy she's here because I, I don't know what advice to give. I'm not a therapist. And right. She, she is. Right. But right. Like, Amazing. <laughs> having a bunch of people living in a house when you're trying to build a relationship and you're trying to work and your work is your house, is that? Well, it's, it's hard when you mix areas in general. Like, mm -hmm. we know for the brain, like, for instance, like, an easy example is, like, if you study in your bed, then it's hard to sleep in your bed. Right, right. Because right. the brain associates your bed with, like, focus, concentration, yeah. and learning. Right. Like awake and alert, right? So then, in the same way, if you live where you work, it's hard for you to actually focus do on one, one or the other. other. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're, and obviously, his focus is always work. Now. Right. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people in this house could use you, to be completely <laughs> honest. Like, I could probably use you once a week at least. <laughs> at oh least. God. All right, well, I guess we'll go join them back for the, oh my God, the tent the is made. There's a the soccer year, field. The year is built. What the hell? Oh, I love that we didn't have to do anything. Oh, that's great. <laughs> So we just talked to Erica for like two hours. Yeah. I think Jake trusts her. And she might be one of the only people that like is honest with him about everything. There's a lot of stuff I don't even know how to start talking about with him. <laughs> this is we gotta go. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll be back for the ring. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, at some Sounds point. Good, yeah. You know, I gotta uh, work out a little bit. <laughs> for sure. We're gonna fight. We're yeah. Gonna <laughs> um, okay, so come on. So I wanna talk. We've kinda had a lot of like serious talks yeah. throughout the day, but I wanna have like one solid serious talk tomorrow night at my house. Okay. So no squad, no ATVs, oh, yeah. no managers, no nothing, yeah. no, no chef. No chef. We're gonna no th Thor. Shh. Can't bring well. Thor. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to like talk about everything. I want to hit every single thing that people want to know about. I also have a lot of, I want to know about. I'm a little nervous, but I feel like I'm, not. I'm, I'm nervous though, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm nervous. I was nervous today, but like, I feel a lot better, but like, I don't know. I'm just kind of nervous in general. Like, just I've never like talked about any of that stuff, but. I think we just do it, we're honest, we talk, 
and like not worry about what people think because yeah. I know there's been a lot of moments today where you've been like off camera you're like well I can't really say that because people are going to think I'm trying to get pity or oh, people are going to think I'm trying to get this or that like I think we just have to drop all that because like yeah, it's fuck just, it. if it's a truth it's a truth. truth and then what happens happens yeah. and... <laughs> <laughs> don't be nervous because I'm not nervous I'm, <laughs> It'll be good. I'm nervous bro hey, what did I say to you when we were outside the ATV and I almost died you said you trusted me all right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Peace out, See you, brother. See you, See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't think that's who it really is. I mean, that's what we kind of learned. Yeah. <laughs> this is so different from the team ten <laughs> in every way. <laughs> this is my team ten. Um, that I. <laughs> I felt like the old mom. I was like, I feel like Me the too. Helmet. Nobody's <laughs> yeah, we met everyone. Um, we, we, oh, Eric Costell. Is coming here tomorrow. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Wait, did you meet Logan? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did not. Maybe let's do a quick wrap okay. up. Yeah, okay, let's go. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah, so. so here's the problem. Okay. I think I, I wanted to get inside of the mind of Jake Paul. Okay? I did that today. Mm -hmm. And yeah, a lot of it happened off camera because I don't know if it's number one, my place to even like talk about that stuff with him on camera, like yeah. on fucking YouTube. Like it's just, it's, but I also don't want people watching to be like, well, like you didn't tell us. Yeah, you, you never know. asked anything. I'm like, yeah. So tomorrow I'm, you know, meeting with him and Erica's coming and I, you know, I think our goal is to let Jake know that he needs to like start his own life and like yeah put some space between him and people yeah just like how do you feel about him he was very different than I thought like based on all the videos we've watched and all the content I've been reading about sociopaths just to better understand it to make sure that I'm not missing something and not being not neglecting the symptoms or anything like that and there was none of that I know and like he really gives to people like he bought a huge home and has everybody living in it essentially for free yeah. like that's it I, like like you said like i think he's just a simple guy and he just wants people around him who he loves and he'll spend whatever he has to spend to make that happen and so i actually really liked him and i liked erica a lot i know i, liked her. I, know. I was like we could be friends i could really talk to you you're very nice I know. And I'm basing it on what she said about him because she knows him best, right? Yeah. She said that she doesn't think anything's off limits. You know, where she was like, I think it's okay to ask. And so the way that I would approach it, but I would say I noticed like you shutting down, it reminded me very much of like my own experience. Okay. No? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sad. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I'm like, I, uh, ha, this is literally what the fuck? <laughs> I understand that he doesn't want to lose his family. I 100% understand. Of course. He was very honest about that and said like, listen, me and my family have had our issues and stuff, but like, I can't lose my, I don't want to lose my family. Because yeah. if everything goes away, like you said, I don't think we were filming, no, but he said, won't. if all of this goes away, the money, the views, all this stuff, like at least I have my brother and my dad, you know, mm -hmm. and my mom and stuff. And I was just like, what is this serious? What am I doing? What am I doing? I can't do that. Well, we're not, like, uh, the thing is, you're not forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to do. But just to t turn the tables, if you feel like this is so personal to you, would you have wished someone would have told you or said something to you earlier? Or how could someone have gone about it to make it so that you could have heard that? Hmm. I think there's your answer. Because it is personal and you of any, like more than anybody else would would understand how he feels. Yeah. My goal, maybe, should be to meet with him and 
give him a chance to be honest about everything mm -hmm. that's happened and you know all the drama and the, the yeah. controversies let him speak his truth and if people don't want to believe it that's fine and he wants to mm -hmm. even though he's like really scared i'm gonna say if i believe it or not which is i don't know if i should fuck it i, I think you should I, like we talked about i thought he was a bad person because of what people said was true and so I, th I think that if he's open to it you can give him the ability to share the truth in all honesty even though he stays quiet just because he feels like it's not worth it like people are gonna come back with like a hundred other fights to start and drama to stir up this gives him the one opportunity to, s to speak his truth and say it I think he really wants to yeah. you know because I mean he's been quiet but I think he'd like to get it off his chest I know. <laughs> we texted after and we were like, I was like, please don't ever like tell Jake, I don't ever want this to get out. Like it was so stupid. And he was like, listen, like I'm a savage, I'm a maverick. Oh, fuck. Hello? Can you, can, you hear, can you hear me? Yeah. Bro, you need to come to the Team 10 house right now. Is it just a Alright, what's going on? Um, your number one fan is here, bro. Okay. How fast, how fast can you get here? Uh, Alright, I'll see you then. Alright. Yeah, just get in your private jet or your Ferrari. Alright. <laughs> what if he actually comes on a jet? <laughs> he does helicopter, it's close, you know. Yeah, it's not worth flying in the private plane. He has a helicopter? Yeah, he lands right in the back there. No, man, I wouldn't. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> oh. Oh. My God. Oh God. Justin Roberts. Justin. <laughs> Come here, Rama. Roberts. <gasps> this is your biggest fan. Is it really? Not him. Hello. Hey. Justin, Hello. I, okay, I'm not. Hello. <laughs> I'm not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> we listened to Six Figures and he's banned. We didn't even really? know he was a fan. Yeah, we yeah. Stand. And we I thought I was being him. pranked. No. No, we love you. <laughs> Sorry, I know it sounds like a prank, but it's very real. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I had a number one fan. Okay, questions. Your life, what is it? What do you do? How, how do you, like, how are you so rich? What does that mean? How did questions. you have Six Figures when you were only four? Justin? Yeah, what does that That's mean? That's what we want to know. So, um, Six Figures when I was four. <laughs> Six figures I was only four. It was, um, you know, money does grow on trees. <laughs> I heard. So, I was actually born, um, I was planted <gasps> on one of those trees. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It all makes sense. And your grandpa being the Pope. Thank God my grandpa is the Pope. He's the Pope. Yeah, he actually is the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was at the Vatican, uh, the other... What was it, a month ago? Yeah. yeah. Went to go visit. Yeah. Well? <laughs> Hi guys! Hey. Where the fuck are we? <laughs> <laughs>